everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Thanks for joining me. You're amazing. So quick story time. I forgot my appointment at Tesla to get my control arms replaced because that's what happens in Tesla. It's the only maintenance I've ever done in three years on that vehicle is the control arms, and that's today. Three and a half years I've had that car. And Tyson let me use his new scooter. That thing goes 40 kilometers an hour. I should've wore a helmet. I almost died twice, but I'm here doing this video. Snarking on the Doherty dozen. I was waiting for her to do the to release the full video of the the kitty pool full of shit, but she did. I, maybe she's not. So I guess we're just gonna have to snark on the she does Korean night. Everybody wants me to talk about. So, and when I say everybody, I got like six messages. That's standard influencer talk for. Her. There's been so many people like messaging me for my like skin routine, and it was like her mom. But anyway, this is for you six people. Let's snark. <laughs> So let's kick it off first with Alicia. I'm going to have to replace the music, obviously. Um, but this is Alicia who has decided to... Uh, this is Spaghetti Table Gate Part 2. Alicia knows that her shit is collapsing. right? We all know that. We can look at her view counts. We can look at everything. I actually just paid for the Advanced Social Blade. And I want to show you these uh, these uh, things I found on here. Just so you want to see if you want to see them. They're, they're sweet. This is okay. It's not as good as Social Book, but it doesn't give you like the demographic because I was looking for the demographics of Jordan Matter, and so I just didn't pay for it. Anyway, I paid for the the expensive one here, which allows me to see analytics that a lot of people can't see. So here, there's full monthly statistics. So they are growing by 10k steadily every other. It looks like every week or so they get about 10,000 subscribers, which is normal if you have over a million subscribers. Okay, this month alone. They have 38 million views, down from about 75 million views a month, which is still, don't get me wrong, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, okay? Let's be real. They make a lot of money. So she's not really worried about her shit going. She's happy, like, Alicia, if she just continues to do this and, and, and goes lower and lower and lower, she'll still make tens of thousands of dollars a month, even if she only gets a fraction of those, which it is going down. The only time it's really, if you get under two, three million hits a month, then you're like, you're still making more money than you've ever made in your life. So it's not like she's going to collapse unless she gets canceled for, for something like she said and someone comes out and says something. Anyway, so here is her weekly subscribers at her peak last year. It looks like, uh, oh, this is 30 days. This is about... Yeah, this is... Her peak was last year around July when she was hitting about 50... 1,000 subscribers, like, so she was hitting her peak. Like, this is a day, a 1,000 a day. Boom, 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 boom. And she hit her peak, and now this is where her growth is. That's weekly subscribers gained. That is somebody who peaked. This, like, she's already, she peaked in high school. I don't even, she didn't even peak in high school. I don't think she is. I don't know when she peaked. I don't even know what that really means, so I don't know. Anyway, basically, she peaked last year in July. This year, it's just collapsed, okay? So you think she's buying subscribers? She's not. Alicia, most people don't buy subscribers. Some do, depends on the size of your channel. She might have been for a while, but I don't think so, because the growth curve, like she might have spiked here and bought some, but look, look at the growth. It's crazy. Weekly video gains, again, last July, biggest peak. Now she's down here. That is a huge deal, everybody. That's on, that's 20 million. She was up over around 30, 31 million views. Now she's doing about, 7.7 million. That's crazy, everybody. I don't know if you know, that is insanity. If this were a board of directors and everyone meeting, whoever was in charge of this would be being fired right now, okay? The CEO is gone, like Bud Light marketing CEO. <laughs> anyway, and so here's daily video views gain against, again, the July peaked. Now she's down crazy. And their peak, their daily video views peaked at 11.7 million daily views. A l almost 12 million daily views. That is crazy, everybody. I get like 3 million a month, okay? She was collecting bank. A lot of that was to do shorts as well. And now her daily views are up around 1.4 million, which is still crazy. Don't get me wrong. That is still crazy. And then if you see her, her subscriber counts, once she hit a million, you can see this spike. Everybody thinks that means that she's buying subscribers. That's just how they register. the. So you can't even see the spike until it's 10,000 now. If you're over a million subscribers, it's 10,000. Mine's 1,000. So every time it gains 1,000, it'll blip. 
You know, if you're under a hundred thousand, every time you gain a thousand or a hundred, it's a blip. Stuff like that. So, anyway, I wanted to show you all that. That her shit has just collapsed. Last year, July. This is average daily subscribers. S 60, 69, almost seven thousand daily subscribers. She was at July last month. Now, what's she at this month? 1,000 daily average. And that's, again, that's still a lot, but that's the algorithm seeing somebody with a million subscribers. Like she's still riding off that algorithm, but look at the growth. The growth has collapsed. And so that leads me to the reason why she does crazy videos like this, what's it called? Pool nachos. So let's watch it together, have a little fun. Snark on it a bit. Two, three, four. Four giant bags of tortilla chips in there. Okay, cool. So there's like this much tortilla chips at the bottom of this pool. And let's be real for, for a second, okay? Likely she just bought this at the dollar store or whatever, this pool. Um, don't feed your children out of BPA plastic. Okay, that shit was made in China. It probably has deadly chemicals, toxic chemicals in it. And you're going to feed your children out of this pool. It's not meant for eating. There are food grade plastics and there are not food grade plastics. This is not a food grade plastic. You, can, you shouldn't be, your kids should not be eating food out of a toxic plastic bowl. Cool? Cool. We're all in agreement? Awesome. She's about four inches of chips at the bottom of this thing. And now she's going to put like what? Three pounds of meat on it? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a cheese bird took a shit on your food. That's disgusting, everybody. Oh my God. So many people said this to me. I can just, I, this is my reaction. This is what I think people do when they watch a video like this. There's no way she's doing this. I'm telling you she's doing this because her view counts are low. And she, and look at that. She's got that smug, that, that smug, smug. This shit's going viral. I don't think you know this anymore, Alicia. This shit's not going viral anymore. This doesn't work. She wants to be put in articles. She's like, look at this mom fed her kids out of a BPA plastic toxic tub of shit. Yeah, go mom. Most of the articles that are written about Alicia right now are making fun of her, by the way. And she, li she likes it because no, no press is bad press. And that is true. It is true. There's two ways to make it in this platform. To be a villain or to be a hero. To be a villain to be provocative or not provocative. You can be a nice guy who does lots of cool stuff and unboxes stuff and it's cool. Everybody likes you. Or you can be a complete asshole villain and everybody hates you and hate watches you. Trisha Paytas is a perfect example of that, okay? And so is Alicia Doherty. Alicia doesn't have fans. And those she does, very, very few and, few and far between. Alicia has way more downvotes on every single video than upvotes. And that is actually crazy. What it means is that she is being hate watched. And that is not a... That is not... That is not a plan for long-term success on YouTube. I promise you that. Oh my God, the Velveeta! Is that catch? Okay, it's is that salsa? And here comes the Chez. You only put one bag of cheese on that? I'm impressed. I'm impressed. There's the shredded 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 lettuce. Oh my God! Ew! What is that? Is that paint? Is that yogurt? Okay, and then this, I guess she released another one because she thought it would definitely go viral. And this is the other one. And heads up, I'm showing the kids because I want to show you what's going on here. He said one day. Here's your plastic tub of shit, kids. Alicia, if you really wanted to prove to everybody you're a good mom after all the things that we make fun of you for, this was not the right direction, okay? You are, again, toxic chemicals inside that plastic pool that you're feeding them at. Okay. All right. Now watch what happens. Dig in, kids! Right by the pool, there's probably bugs in this shit. There is bugs in that. Okay, you're outdoors. Feeding your kids from a plastic toxic pool that now has bugs in it. 100% there's bugs in this shit right now. And then <laughs> there's someone who's mentioning the guy in the back. I forget, is it, I forget the P. I forget his name. But he's trying to get in. He's getting pushed away. He can't get in there. He just gets like shoved. Alicia eats. Look, Alicia took one tiny little bite of a chip and then pulled it out of her mouth. Look at this. Watch, 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 watch. She's like, nah, I'm not eating this. I, there's bugs on this. 
That's disgusting, Alicia, you disgustoid, TM. Anyway, that's gross. And the reason she's doing it again is because of the analytics I just showed you. The shit is collapsing. Shit is collapsing. C-O-L-L-A-P-S-E. Collapsing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't have any... I don't have any of those things. Oh, yeah, I do. Here we go. Your shit is collapsing. C-O-L-L-A-P-S-E. Yeah! Collapse! Shit is collapsing. Do I need a song? Do we need, do we need to do a song? Okay. Well, your shit is collapsing And your channel is falling apart And you suck Cause you feed your kids a toxic kiddie pool With bugs, yeah, you suck Alicia, you suck And you know it Stop wearing them jeans Yeah, you know the ones I mean Those ugly torn up jeans You suck You suck All right, let's get to this one. So everyone wants to talk about she's making Korean food. It's an over an hour long. Did she not learn her lesson with the Japanese food? I guess not. Let's snark. Hi, everyone. Hey. With the hey. And this is my weekly around the world night meal prep for my family of 14. But first. It's all, it's all, it's all candy there. Clan. But first, kiss my ass. <laughs> So, every week, uh, right now we're doing Wednesdays, the day, the night sometimes changes, but we pick an area of the world and we make food from that country or area or culture. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Somebody had sent me this and I'm just waiting to show it to you guys. Gabrielle sent this to me from, oh yeah, it is from Seoul, Korea. Says, I've been watching your video since 2020. I'm pretty sure your OG Micah was the first one I saw when I first came out to your channel and the message is spreading. I'm in the US Army in Korea, but I'm about to move to New York. I saw your video and you and Tyson trying different foods. Here are some Korean snacks for you guys. Or just you. It's just me. Um, I've had most of these snacks. I know some people like them, some don't. Uh, I also had a Korean special knockoff mini backpack. Gabby, I love you. I'm not sure what allergies you have. If you download Google Translate, you can use your camera to translate the ingredients. I don't have any. Do I look like I have food allergies? Look at this body. Okay. But here's some Korean snacks. This is awesome. I forgot about this. And here's the here's the sweet backpack. Because everybody knows I love tiny backpacks. This is uh, made by Michael Kors. Established 1981. Michael Kors. I think it's a knockoff. I know it's expensive. But let's try it on. Oh, yeah. I see why these things are really popular. Uh-huh. So nice. Mmm. What's up? Hi. What's going on, everybody? Hey, guys. What's up? What's up with my tiny backpack? You guys like this? Maybe it's to show off if you don't have a big ass. If you wear a tiny backpack, it makes your butt look big. Boom! Look at that badonk! I like it. I'm wearing this everywhere now. We have a penis-shaped thing. Oh, it's a squid noodle. I, I was so to read the directions. This is the direction. <laughs> so it's a squid noodle snack. I'm not gonna try that right now. Maybe a little later. We've got. I think she has these two there. Um, these shrimp shrimp chips. Okay. <laughs> Don't smell those. It's shrimp. Okay. It's a chip that literally tastes like shrimp, but it's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> Let's just check. All right, what else we got? All right, we got these things. Little candies. Those look good. I love chewy candies. That's what they, I think are gum. They're gum or chewy candy. Oh, snap. Westy's going to love these. I think they're just, are they... Korea has Skittles, I'm impressed. Oh, they're just normal Skittles. Okay, after eating one of those and letting it kind of sit, they're really good. 
actually. They're a bit spicy, yes, but good. Korean jerky. Oh, yeah. Tyson! Tyson! Come here! I'm gonna make him try the ones I don't wanna try. You doing? Let's try this. Ooh, that's, that smells good though. It's not really good. So I come to the conclusion that my wife has misnomia or misophonomia, whatever it is that she, this just happened later in life. We've been married for over 15 years. Never had a problem until this year. If I, if she catches me chewing, she wants to kill me. Is that something that can be developed? Cause she does not like the sound of chewing. Like it just happened. All right, what else we got? Open up the bag, we got some more inside. We got gummy bears, fruit tips, fruit ups, fruit ups. Those are good. Chocolate centered stick things. Oh, no way. Oreo with sticks. I'm trying one of these. Oh my gosh, look at that. You know that's gonna be delicious. So it's a, it's a, it's dipped Oreo. You see that? See that? It's literally an Oreo wafer and I'm in love. Okay. What else we got in here? Yeah. Cheesecake. Like yeah, yeah. Vlog. Yeah. Cheesecake. So it looks like cheesecake in a thing. Okay. It's a little biscuit. I thought it was going to be lemon. It's not. It is delicious though. Sorry for those of you who can't stand people chewing. My bad. But this person sent me this from all the way from Korea. These are perfect for the car. You're amazing. And another fruit tip. Tyson! Blueberry shrubbery. Oh my gosh, those are good. I'm moving to Korea yesterday. Oh, that's good. Let's try these ones. Strawberry, apple, grape. Which one's apple? These are gummy bears. Korean food is good. Okay. And then my backpack. Thank you very much. Who is it? Gabby, you're my hero. Please, did you send me your address? Reach out to me if when you get back to New York, Gabby, and I'm gonna send you lots and lots of delicious treats from Canada and a, and a hoodie and whatever you need because this was amazing. Sorry, that's awesome. Little backpack. Where'd you get this? this okay, from? it's from Korea, Seoul, Korea. Don't touch it yet. Don't touch it yet. Okay. Crouch down. Crouch down here. These are shrimp hot chips. Take a huge whiff. Take a huge whiff. They just caught me off guard. It smells good though. You like that smell? It's it fine. caught me off. Okay, try them. Try them. I think you'll actually like these a lot. Doesn't that taste like seafood? Yeah, but it's, you could have told me it was spicy. It's pretty spicy, but it'll sit, it'll sit well. It'll, oh, no. it goes good. Yeah, okay, fine. try I the like jerky, because Tyson loves jerky. It's like his favorite thing on earth. Korean jerky, try that. She sent uh, no, Skittles. That is good, and it's stinky though. That means it's good, that means it's working. Uh, there's these uh, chocolate sticks, here. Mm -mm. Oh. I don't know how to explain that one. It's good, it it's just- It smells like a typical, Cinnamon chocolate roll. This is a cheesecake one with a filling. Okay. Try that one. Is that, what, what's the filling? I don't know. Something? Bugs? I don't know. I don't like that. No? Okay, but you will like this one. Where'd it go? Okay, these uh, fruit berries. Try one. Just try one. They're so good. I already had one. It's like a multivitamin. Oh, they're so good. They're good, though. Okay. I didn't open this because I was waiting for you. Squid snacks. Squid noodle. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. You're just gonna love it. Tyson is, the one thing you gotta know about Tyson, been with us for 12 years almost now. Those those things, whoo, they stink. He, he has always eaten vegetables. Whatever you put in front of him, he always ate it. Never had a problem. He was, <laughs> he was never that picky. Did these come from there too? Yeah. They're just normal Skittles, Try, smell that. I think it is actually squid. Well, probably. Okay, you try it first. You no, you try, try it first. At the same Rock, paper, time scissors. As me. Rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Yeah. You suck ass. Okay. Here you go. Okay. It's like a cat just, treat. Just take it. Honestly, 
It doesn't really taste like anything. Okay, I'm not. It stinks. Give us the cat. One more thing you gotta try. The Oreo wafers. It, now that the aftertaste tastes like the smell of the cat treats yes, that we buy. Yes, it's gross. Okay, this is an Oreo wafer. You'll like it. No, I promise. It's good. Hold on, let me After just get rid of the squid. And I think it was it. And then it's just these chewy ones, which I'll save for myself. Okay. Oh, those berries. Those berries smell good. Right? Yeah. It's light, delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. We don't have that here at all. I mean, not, I, I haven't seen them. I'm going to go find That's them. That's dope. I like that. All right. Thanks. Get lost. Can I steal these? Yep. Take one. Can I steal this? Can I steal this? No. You can have a Skittle. Okay. A Wait. Singular, singular Skittle? Do you want these uh, shrimp chips? Yeah, honestly. Thanks, okay, sweet. All right. Thanks. Peace. Tyson's going to be editing this, so. And look at the tiny backpack I got. Oh, that one that I told you about two months ago. <laughs> That person's gonna see this video and be like, Josh took way too long to make I it. just forgot it was there. All right, here we go. Sorry, this is- Just got fun snacks that we don't carry here in the United States. Clearly do, because you got it from a place in the United States. Well, at least not here in New York. You're in New York. I know of. Uh, so this will be their after school mm. snack. We're gonna get going on the recipes. We are doing Korean beef short ribs mm -hmm. um i'll probably get this started first this is a recipe from food network i will link all of these recipes in the no one gives a shit because we know you're gonna do it wrong the description of this video we are making classic gimbap i will probably make this last uh is she listening to my videos about cooking the easiest things last is that what she's listening you're listening alicia you're welcome. Guys, my smash burger video has 500,000 hits. And the reason it does is because so many people disagree with the way I made them. It's not about like making good stuff and everybody agrees. If you want to go viral for any reason, do a short and do something weird in the short. I've seen guys like this one guy, he had like two straws in his ears for no reason. And that's all that people commented on. Right? There was a guy, like in my video, I cooked the cheese differently. So everybody was like, no, you savage. Or I flattened the burger once too many times. And that's what people comment on, right? It's wrong. So I'm going to do another one the right way, but I'm going to do something wrong in the video. I'm going to try this multiple times cooking, but doing it wrong. Watch how viral it goes. Anyway, go watch that video. It's fun. Um... I'm going to actually use some of the leftovers from Monday for this. I couldn't find... You have leftovers that would work in Korean food? That makes sense. Okay. And pickled radish, so we're going to leave that off. No one eats pickled radish anyway. Not even Koreans. Yes, I could have made some. You could have made... At this point, it's... Who are you saying yes to? Did somebody ask you in your head? Alicia, go get your shit checked. Like, uh, this recipe is from... The website. Okay, get lost. F off. Let's get going here. Buy an Asian pear. Oh, never mind. I found it. So sometimes I call Papa and I'm like, where did you put such and such? But anyways, so this is the Asian pear. Mm -hmm. I should have gotten two of them because I have two recipes that need a pear. So I'm going to use this for... um. Where's your clock, Alicia? I just noticed her clock is gone. But... The stove, I think, if I'm correct, says 423. You're not getting away with that easy, Alicia. We could see a clock. Why does she take a clock down? It doesn't... It, okay. The ribs. Since I, I don't give a shit. So let's just get to it. Bring the sledgehammers in, kids. Ew! Put it in a bowl! She said hi to someone and uh, somebody, whoever it is, did not say hi back. I want to point that out. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. That wasn't enough. Patrick's up to something. Okay. Garlic, pear, soy sauce, ginger, sugar, okay. You, you're using a plastic spoon. Yeah. The kid's like, ew. The, yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> See, Alicia's doing this, and she's like, nah, we're gonna do this around the world. Nobody's gonna eat it, Alicia. Because they know you can't even make normal food. So when you step into other cultures, you butcher it, and they're also not gonna eat it. You're just wasting it. Doesn't it smell amazing? Oh, you guys don't like the smell. Use that. a whisk. Look. It's so bad. What is that? Okay. Oh, man. Piece of plastic or something. Listen to this house. Sounds like a Hogwarts train getting on the freaking platform nine and three quarters. Well, let's just get some cooking gloves. Just latex cooking gloves, the black ones. Just, you are you got a ring on and there's shit in that ring and that shit is getting in the, in the meat. And you got fake nails full of shit too that's gonna get shit in the meat. Stop shitting in your meat. I mean, the meat's gonna get shit out soon. Well, she were like $100 worth of meat already right now. Damn! And they're not even going to eat it. That's the thing. She buys meat, expensive-ass meat. Nobody's going to eat it. Oh, is this alcohol? One for me, one for the meat. Rice, salt. Should be fine. Maybe I'll just not eat them, just in case. Yeah. Pull the membrane off. Just pull it off! Holy shit! Listen to this house! <laughs> I get there's a lot of kids, but holy, what are they doing? I can't hear you, Alicia. There's chaos everywhere. Oh shit! Phaser. The one thing I'm so impressed with, Alicia, and not impressed with, but impressed and not impressed, you know what I mean? Because it's like, she's, there's chaos around her. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I would be having full-on panic anxiety right now if the kids were this loud, being this crazy. I'd be like, shut up! That'd be me. Get outside! She doesn't, it's just blank nothing. Her white claw pulled off meat meat. It's just, that's it. She's not engaged as a mother. She That's a superpower she has. She can literally disengage everything about her and her attention and everything, and it's nothing. Doesn't even affect her at all. And that's why she doesn't mind having all these kids, but Josh does, because it affects him. That's why he has such a short temper. That's why he freaks out all the time, because these kids are this loud. Almost don't blame him, right? Because parents, you know, that's how it goes. Sometimes kids get loud, you, get, you scream, you yell, whatever. But he, he's on camera doing it, and so it sucks. But that's I don't blame him sometimes. These kids are crazy. No! Yeah, so that was a Korean snack pack. Snack pack? Uh, I don't know. Korean snack pack. Tried some of it. They're not eating any of that shit. There's all that candy that just melts in the pack. Cookies? Korean cookies? Notice how no one's eating. You bought a box for like $100 and none of them are going to eat any of that shit. Those kids only eat Velveeta and cereal. That's their entire gut health. Just pull the thing off the ribs! Hurry up. Hurry the hell up, Alicia! At this rate, we're going to be here till the dawn of a new era. Sauron's coming back. Why is this not focusing? Why is this okay? <laughs> so the like, this is where they get it from. It looks just, just like the crunchy bag. Spicy stuff. Alicia, you suck ass. Just look at a video. <laughs> Wearing them jeans again. <laughs> you it. So I looked it up and Thank I guess you. I've only personally ever cor cooked pork ribs where you have to peel the membrane, but for the beef ones, it's, oh. it's optional. Yeah, you don't have to pull the membrane off beef ribs. That's the fat. You want that fat. 
Keep the fat on that, not the pork fat though. Ugh. It said actually some people purposely leave it on so they don't fall apart when they're grilling. So I'm gonna leave the membrane on instead of sitting here trying to fiddle with it. Yeah, clearly. We're going to coat both of these with brown sugar and then make up the marinade. Get as much done before Josh gets home from the track. Take my ring off. Oh, now you're gonna take your ring off after you soaked it in meat. My mood ring. Take your other ring off too, then. Uh, you cut your wrist doing that. Holy shit, lady, you don't need that much. How much waste? It's so much waste. That is so much sugar. That's too. You're over sugaring the meat. Use the stuff that's on the plate. There's tons on the plate. Pull it off the plate. Thank you. There, that's all you need. You needed that much for the entire thing. No. Holy shit, it's not a sandbox, Alicia. Watching her do anything is like watching a newborn baby trying to shit. You know, they're like, they're confused a little bit. You don't know how to peel anything. You got a peeler and you're like, that doesn't work. What do I do? I don't know. Get the proper tools. You suck balls. No. What are you doing? Just peel it like this. Just peel it. Peel it. Is that a potato, man? Also, you know that potato peelers? They're they're hinged for a reason. You don't have to go tick, tick, tick. You just gotta go like this, back and forth over the skin. Cause it pivots. I was yesterday years old when I saw that on TikTok. You ball. You're cutting the <sighs> Um, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, if you don't know how to do anything, you can get a slop chop, you can get other material, you can get, like, food processors to help you get all this done. The reason your children don't eat your food, Alicia, is because you don't even know how to prepare it properly. Not, no love. There's zero love. No love in this food. This food tastes like straight hate. Why? You... She's doing that on purpose. Okay, whatever, I'm off. Four tablespoons of minced garlic. So don't put as much garlic in. That's not imperative to the recipe. Put one tablespoon. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Two shots of vodka. That's way too much black pepper! A quarter teaspoon. Three tablespoons, I meant to say. Mom, this shit tastes like straight fire. It's the pepper, honey. Pepper and the girl. So she's making some kind of mix. And while the sugar blends into the blood. I'm gonna see if Josh will release for me when he gets home. He better. See if the TV. I just smash everything! Ew! Uh. Sure. It's coming out. Let it marinate. You're a marinade. I'd be like, kids, I'm going to send you to space on the next Elon mission. If you don't get outside!
There's a pool and a trampoline and chickens and f f trees. Go start fires or something. Get out of here. Probably some leftover eggs from Easter. I don't care. It's been one quarter. Okay. Okay. Josh is home and he is going to grill the ribs and I forgot I didn't put the soy sauce on them so I poured that over the top. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, now. Again, something you did wrong. Okay. Ow. Josh is in charge of the ribs. The steak, I'm gonna cook in oil on the stove. And then that leaves a gimba. These people need a straight up griddle. They need a griddle. Just get a huge griddle outside. Up. Okay, this will be my second try. We shall see. Um, what? Second try what? I gotta go find the seaweed paper. She's making sushi again. <laughs> Alright, let me yes! go get all those ingredients. Let's make you don't have to say any of that. You don't have to say, let me go and then cut. Just, uh, just cut to it. Make the game up. Josh can get the grill going. Okay, I want to make sure you wash this rice. Properly this time, Alicia. I got the rice. I Did you wash two it? Two sheets. Oh. In case the kids wanted to help. I've got the spinach cooked up. I've got the carrots, smashed the carrots. Literally, so you can't hear this because the bass is rumbling. It sounds like there's an effing train coming through their house. Do they live near train tracks? And then I'm gonna put them on the plate with some salt. I'm gonna cut up some steak. That was why I wanted extra steak on Monday, it was for the gym bob. You're for the gym bob. And then, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this again. We got some tips from y'all from the last. You mean tips from me? Time. Like what? What is she gonna do? What's she gonna do? What tips? I'm actually going to put the steak right into the soy sauce that I have left over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get to it. It's been an hour, by the way, so far. She's literally been an hour and there's nothing cooking yet. Maybe not. I think that rice might be left over from last week. You can't use cold rice that you for sushi. Can you? Notice how the dog comes around for the steak? That's a smart dog. Sees the steak, hey. I like a piece of steak. Gus loves the steak, right Gus? All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna show you the pool and the grill. Here's the grill set up. Always on your phone, eh, Josh? Always on your phone. What could you possibly be doing on your phone? Is he playing, is he playing Clash of Clans or something? Candy Crush? Close the pool open. Yeah. They have a legit pool, though. Let's be real. That shit looks like one of those public pools that you went to when you were a kid for like a toonie. And you gotta go swim for the whole day. Mm. Story time. So when I was young, okay, I sucked at swimming. Took swimming lessons all summer one year. And I didn't get my red badge because I just couldn't do it. No joke. Okay. The day after we went to the public pool, everybody. And I decided I'm doing this by myself. I went under and I swam. Taught myself to swim. The day after I failed swim, swim classes. My parents were pissed because I was like, I mean, back then there's a lot of money for that kind of stuff, right? But I learned. And to this day, I still can't dive. I cannot dive. It's always belly flop. I don't know how to dive. I've never done it right. Never. Drain some of it? No. Just let the bugs eat it. Are these beef or pork? Those are beef. Okay. You can't tell the difference between beef. Well, I guess it's full of sugar, I guess. I, I don't blame them. Her nails? I don't know if it's me or are they just full of meat juice. Because there's like this red ridge around her nails right now. Zoom in on that, Tyson. Look at those nails. Does that look sanitary? Does this look sanitary to you? You ever seen Tarzan, Little Elephant? Cute. Shiny side down, okay. Still the cheater's way. It's rice, then you put the paper on top. Then you put all the ingredients in the paper, then you roll it. That's what I do anyway. Do you though. Wow. 
So instead of making egg strips, I'm just using leftover scrambled eggs. If you're not going to follow the recipe, don't do a recipe! From whatever day I need to Cool, three day old eggs, yummy. Tuesday. Actually, they probably know better than I do. Yeah, hear what he just said? Your audience knows better than I do. Because they don't eat the food. They don't even see the food, probably. She makes that food and probably scoops it right into the garbage can or gives it to her chickens. She might as well just say, feeding my 12 chickens breakfast. Because that's what the, that's what happens to the food. <laughs> he's, he's right. We don't we don't hang out or talk ever. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> it is the leftover rice. You son of a bitch. You said you learned your lesson. Clearly you didn't. Don't the kids are watching TV. She forgot to say it. What's the temperature of it? 50. The pool is 50. That's a cold ass pool, man. <laughs> that looks gross. Even your dog's like, what is she making right now? Ew. <laughs> that looks. The doctor doesn't polar plunge. Actually, my ice bathing has been good. My, my ice plunges have been going great. I've done two so far, and holy shit, it's shocking. But man, it feels good. Like you get out and your body warm. You feel, I don't know how to explain it. You just feel like you're just in a good mood. Maybe it's maybe it's all in my head. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's how it's supposed to be. But it feels great when you get out. Everly does it too, but only up to her knees. Okay, you still did it wrong. That looks like shit. <laughs> Poor dog. Could have bought a sharp knife too. That could have been great. Looks like a Bob Marley joint, actually. Snoop Dogg or whoever smokes tons of weed. And then roll it twice, because that seemed to help last time. This is much easier with this in a Ziploc bag. Thank you for telling me that. Okay, now uh, you also said you run the knife under hot water. No, no, no. Just have a thing of water. Dip your knife in the water. <laughs> what? No, just keep your knife wet. I don't have to run it under hot water. That's not going to do anything. Is it? Okay, well, now it's already cooled down. I need a bigger Tap that a little wet. Let's see. She said. I don't know. I don't know. Nope. You know what's going to help, Alicia? I said this last time. Ready? Bring it on in. Everybody bring it in. A sharp knife! Not this oh, Wegman the special ass knife. Steak. I'm trying it. And, and, is it? Oh my God. I don't believe it. That is amazing. It looks like a thing. Anyway, let's fast forward this shit because it's going to piss me off. There's supposed to be pickled radish, but I couldn't find that. And sure, they can't. And my finger juice is in there. That's the secret ingredient. Not love. Alicia's finger juice. Picturing a bottle you could get at Wegmans, like Alicia's finger juice. It's like a. Th <laughs> That's awesome. If you're wondering if I do this in my car by myself all the time, yes. The answer is yes. I will literally snark on people I see and laugh. That's how it goes. Okay, anyway. Luscious thumb juice. Smashed right here in this kitchen. 
Perfect on. He forgot to record record himself pulling it off. Josh didn't vlog it. I did, I did. I went back and turned it, turned, put the camera on him. So put the footage in then. That is so good. You didn't even put the footage in. I'm doing it in a cherry smoke. I'm excited. Doesn't that stop it? Ah. She isn't even listening to you, dude. In her marinated jeans. I mean, I'll say it for this whole dinner. It's gonna be super late, but what do you think? <laughs> it's gonna be super late. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's May 4th. Tomorrow's May 4th. It's like a holiday. It's not a holiday. What's the matter? Hurry up! It's just like, here we are in a windstorm! Take your sticker off the damn pot. Can't do it. The fan is just blowing. If you have to go on tippy toes to see the shit you're cooking, that's unsafe. Did you even put salt and pepper on it? She looks concerned. So therefore I am concerned. It is 7.10. She started this at 4.30. Three hours to cook dinner. Maybe save it for a Sunday then. Start earlier in the day. Why are you on that side? Okay, here is the finished pre Oh, those, oh, those are something good. Product for around the world night. These kids are hungry. Okay, so. not gonna lie, those ribs look amazing. The first thing I've ever seen, and that's because Josh made it, because he knows how to grill fine, but those ribs look good. Let's eat. So she just basically fr deep fried the steak? I guess. They're not even sitting down, they're just like standing here eating. Because they don't eat your food. <laughs> Chickens are like, hmm? Did you say something? No, someone in the house. No, you said something. Step up, bro. The chicken's getting big fights and shit. Because she's like there making chicken noises. But it's actually swearing in chicken language. Probably said something racist. I forgot to get ice for the shaved ice, so I grabbed these mochis out of the freezer. Okay, we just cleaned up and got the kids to bed. I'm what sorry, I kind of like forgot to keep vlogging at the end there. It was you mean when nobody was eating your shitty food? It was really convenient for you. Smoky in here, so you wouldn't have seen much anyways. So it was so smoky in your house, you couldn't see. Sounds safe. But the kids Yay. loved the ribs and the steak. So, and Brie was super happy with the dumplings. And Jason Don't lie. loved the gimbab. So thank you for making Around the World Night Korea with us. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are failure in your thumbs. Beautiful. You are loved. You and you put dirty finger juice in the food. Long, and I am so proud of I you. I hate you. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time there, Nacho Pool. So it didn't go as viral as she thought it was going to go, which is fine. 17,000 down votes for 7.9 thousand up votes, everybody. That's because people are like, hey, you're feeding your kids toxic plastic. Maybe don't do that. Look, the, if you, the most upvoted comments are the big haters, right? Which are good. You guys are welcome here. I'm so grossed out. Kind of gross. Disgusting on so many levels. Now that's just weird. That's so much and it will be wasted. Yep, it'll be wasted. I want to see the cost of this and how much was wasted. I don't know, there's about 20 people in that home. Well, Kakashu and Ine and ya. Nope. They're hardly ever there anyway. Okay, they're gonna go eat the bullshit she has in the, in the you know, the chips and the shit. That's what they're gonna eat. This is disgusting. Someone's like, what's it to you? Hey, Minnie, what's it to you? A-hole. Let's see how she went viral on TikTok on it. Two million on TikTok. So her bread and butter's on TikTok. She grows fast on TikTok, six million followers, two million views compared to YouTube with like 120,000 views. That's why TikTok is more lucrative for these people. Wow. And that's what she did it for. Did it all for the view. Those kids didn't eat that shit. See, TikTok is just a different world, eh? There's not a lot of negative. YouTube is the place to be real. I love it. Anyway, there you go, everybody. Snarked on it. Nice night, some snacks. It's a good video. It's a good video all around. I like that one. So everybody take a deep breath. You watch. Soon as I release this video, she's gonna release the full video, and I'm gonna start on that too. And I'm happy to do that for you, cause you're amazing, and you don't make nasty, toxic, cancerous pool nachos, because you love your kids, and you're amazing, and valuable, incredible. Stay classy, stay beautiful, stay gorgeous, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>